Hey everybody, welcome to Dave TV for the, the what, what's today? The, oh yes, the 11th of January 2016. Sad news, really sad news, you know, David Bowie, one of my idols, you know, David Bowie passed away last night. Uh, I got up this morning and heard the news and, uh, you know, I mean, I got, you know, Ziggy Stardust, Ashes to Ashes, Scary Monsters here. The Man Who Sold the World, Low, Brilliant Album, Heroes, um, Let's Dance, oh, a whole bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I love this, Hello Space Boy, this is a magnificent song. A whole bunch of, you know, Diamond Dogs, you know, I'm just a huge David Bowie fan, Aladdin Sane 30th Anniversary Edition, uh, Tip of the Camo Cap to David, um, I have, you know, I remember, you know, I didn't get into David Bowie early. I was kind of, you know, in the 60s and 70s, early 70s, I was kind of into, you know, I was into the Beatles mainly and stuff like that. And it was 1972, we had just moved down here to Reston, or 72, 73, somewhere in that neighborhood. And I remember hearing Space Oddity, you know, and I went, whoa, and I went over and I bought that album and... I, you know, that was my, that was kind of, I guess, my introduction. Change, I remember Changes too. Changes was out at the same time, or roughly. And those two songs, I just went, whoa. And from then on, I was a huge David Bowie fan. Um, he just, he just, met, you know, he, again, he says that he took a lot of influences from a lot of different things and kind of twisted them around and did his own thing with them. And he did, but he did it brilliantly. And he shows how, you know, rock musicians do that and can take something and make it even better and, and add to it. I mean, that's all art is really. You take whatever somebody else did and you add to it and you put your spin on it and then you do it. And and he was honest in that, and he was a wonderful musician, and surprising, you know, he just, just released a really cool video, um, Black Star, that just came out a couple days ago on his 69th birthday, and I'm like, wow. And it was, it's like watching a mini movie, it's, and it then startling today to watch that, knowing that he died a couple days later. This, he knew he was dying when he made this video of cancer, and it's just that adds a whole level of wow, stunningness to it. It's hard to watch. I was choking up a lot. But the other thing I wanted to mention, too, was the fact that we don't have good rock radio here in Washington anymore. I mean, you know, I heard newscasts mentioning Bowie and stuff. I wanted to flip around to some radio station locally that was jumped into a David Bowie kind of a, you know, marathon because, you know, the old, like the old HFS would do when somebody would die, they, you know, they do that. And we don't have that in Washington, a, no, a really good station. I've been listening to K KEXP in Seattle, Washington, which is a college station, but it's brilliant. They had a whole retrospective of David Bowie this morning. I was listening to BBC um, Six Music. They did a whole lot of Bowie stuff, and uh, I think XPN in Philly was doing some stuff. There are some cool stations online that you can listen to, but it's sad that there's nothing here in Washington. And then a couple other things. One other thing I wanted to mention is today's New York Times. Here it is, Mo Monday, January 11th, business day. Anyway, I just thought, is this the business section? Wait a second. Well, damn, I had this all prepared. I was all prepared. Oh, the art section. The art section, January 11th. I want to keep these Dave TVs short and I'm making them longer. <clears throat> okay, this is odd. Monday, January 11th. Saluting David Bowie at Carnegie Hall. And if you can read this, it's a good time to be David Bowie below. He just celebrated his 69th birthday, released an album, Black Star, and has a show, Lazarus, running off, off of Broadway. Well... Is it a good, it's, it's odd that on the day, you know, the day after he dies, uh, yeah, obviously they didn't know this when they wrote it, but it's a good time to be David Bowie, well, you know, whatever, you know, he can't prevent that kind of glitch, but the, the one you could prevent is the odd one in the Washington Post today. Washington Post is owned by Jeffrey Bezos, who owns Amazon, okay? This is today's style section, Golden Globes. And one of the winners here is, Gabriel, or is Gail Garcia Bernal. Great actor. I love his stuff. Um, but he was the surprise winner for Mozart in the Jungle, which is on Amazon.com's much praised website. You know, he's in, his show's on Amazon. Amazon, Jeffrey Bezos owns the paper. Okay? 
And this is what they put on their front page, uh, literally a third, almost a half page giant picture of Mr. Bernal. I mean, you know, if you're the Washington Post and you're trying to say, okay, Mr. Bezos owns us, but we're not going to show any favoritism. And then you literally put a picture, this giant on your style section of somebody whose show is on Mr. Bezos's Amazon. I don't know, man. It, it doesn't send me a lot of confidence that there isn't some sort of an influence for Mr. Bezos. No, he probably didn't call up and say, look, I want a giant picture of Bernal on the cover of my style section. But the fact that they did this just kind of is kind of dopey. It's just dumb. It's something you don't do. You know, I could have seen a picture of him smaller with other pictures. That would have made a lot more sense. But just to put this big, giant picture of him on the front of the style section, you know, I mean, they should have, I don't know. It just, it didn't work. It, it looks bad. It looks stupid. It looks like a blunder. It just, it's why it's typical Washington Post. It's the kind of, their heads are in the clouds and they don't know what they're doing and they don't, you know, then you look at that. It's like, whoa. <laughs> I am an Amazon man. <laughs> Whatever. All right, folks. That's all I'm going to do today. God bless you, David. Uh, oh, this is this is my one of my favorite Bowie albums. Sorry, this is what 1980. Mm. Ashes to Ashes. I think that actually features David's mother in it. If you watch, it's a crazy video. Anyway, thanks for watching Dave TV for the 11th of January 2016. Bookum Dano.